Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good people. Ah, yeah, you know what it is. Hard worker, scrappy, unfiltered, and sometimes unhinged football content. Hard to explain, but you know it when you see it. Doing it daily our way. I don't know what you're talking about right now. Redraft and Dynasty Fantasy Football, we got you covered. You know their defense is ranked like 31st in the NFL? NFL draft prospects and rookies? Now you know you're in the right place for that. Absolutely. All right, then stop saying it. Then we're done. And prop bets with my man Jay Rich. Count that money, man. Now wipe the crust out of your eyes. Get you a cup of coffee. It's time to wake your ass up with Ray G. You honestly are making absolutely no sense and you sound silly as hell. What's going down, y'all? It's the Wake Up Crew. Your boy Ray G joined as always by my man Jay Rich. And we are back with the Dynasty Trade Show. Jay, it's been about a year since we've done pre-rolled content. Happy Thanksgiving for everybody out there checking out the show. But it's time. The NFL season is winding down. The college season is almost over. We are sick and tired of the fantasy season. So I just want to see what people are doing. I want to see what trades are happening. The patrons, you made a last call about 15 minutes ago for people to get the trades in. And like 30 trades hit the channel. We ain't going to go through all 30, but we're going to walk you through our process. Jay and I, we don't know which ones we're going to look at. But if you want to be a part of the All Gas Army, this community, patreon.com forward slash all gas gets you that access. $7 a month gets you access to the Discord and the trade show. And it's worth a lot more than that. So patreon.com forward slash all gas. Jay, you ready to dive into these trades, baby? Yes, sir. Let's get it. All right. Let's pull it up. So uh, where do we start? Here we go. Dynasty Collector. This trade was made a couple of days ago. So let's pull it up, Jay, and uh, talk about it. We've got no context. I don't know what the league settings are, but we have Jonathan Taylor being acquired for Ramondre Stevenson and a 2023 second round pick. Jay, uh this is softball. Uh, oh, this is Jonathan Taylor all the way, right? I don't, I don't care how you slice yeah. this. Is this just easy, Jonathan Taylor? I think so. Yeah. Like as much as I love Ramondre Stevenson for next year, I think I got to take Jonathan Taylor here. I, I don't. I mean, yeah. I, I, what in what world would I rather have Ramondre in a second over JT? And, and this isn't. This isn't like this trade. This is ten team super flex people. Ten team. Yeah. 10 team. 10 team, you need those studs, Give man. Studs. You need those difference makers. Yeah. Give now, me the stud every time. let me just ask it, what it feels like is a short sighted move based on the season, I guess, and JT not being as good as we wanted him to be. But we're playing Dynasty, man, unless it's a 10 team super flex redraft league. And at that point, I don't give a shit about the pick. So this for me is an easy Jonathan Taylor. Are we on the same page there? Yeah, absolutely. I love Ramondre, but it's still JT. All right, let's see what else we got in the Discord. Ooh, big boy. 16-team super flex PPR. 16, I, I'm telling you, Jay, I've been in one 16-team team, team league in my life, and I absolutely hated it. So let's see what we have right here. We got one side getting Trey Lance, Mike Woods, a 23 third and a 24 second. The other side getting Josh Palmer, Brees Hall, Damian Pierce, and Desmond Ritter. Man, that's really hard. You got, what, two top 16 running backs in a 16-team league for a quarterback that could be gold in a 16-team league next season. Ray, I, d- I think I want the running backs. I, d- I don't feel great about it, and I don't know what it, the QB situation is beyond this. In a 16-team, have to imagine it's not great, but to get all that for Trey Lance in a 16-team league? That's pretty good, man. That's two running back starters for one quarterback who could be great. Could maybe, you know, we'll see. But I think getting those two running backs is probably worth it in Dynasty. Yeah, Mike Woods, trash. No one cares about that. The 23 third, maybe. The 24 second is okay, but, you know, still a couple of years away. Here's the thing. 16 team league. If you're picking at the 115, you are just screwed, right? All the good quarterbacks are gone. You're sitting there and you're staring down Matthew Stafford. You're staring down Mac Jones. It's probably not good. In a 16-team super flex league, QBs are even more king than any stinking running back that you can think of. When I first looked at this, I'm like, man, simple. Give me Brees Hall, Damian Pierce, Josh Palmer, and Ritter. I don't really care about Ritter. But the more I think about this, man... Um, depending on what his QB situation is like, and I'm not sure, maybe he was picking, maybe 
what he was doing was he was picking uh, Bl Blitzing Buzzard, had an earlier pick in the startup, and they have a good quarterback, a Joe Burrow, Dak Prescott, a Lamar, and they traded away two running backs and Josh Palmer to get another quarterback in a 16-team super flex. And I'm just going to assume that Fantasy Footboy has his quarterback situation figured out without yeah. really – this is one where, for me, I don't – Dude, 14-team leagues are difficult, Jay. 16-team, it's it's brutal, man. This is one where I would really like to see his quarterback room and why he felt that it was okay to move uh, Trey Lance. And I don't know if Trey Lance is going to be good or not. This is not Trey Lance is a good quarterback conversation. I don't know what the hell he is. It's just the positional scarcity of quarterback in a 16-team league would make me if I if I dealt Trey Lance, I better be rock solid at the quarterback position. If he is, that's a smash trade getting Hall, Pierce, and Palmer, but his quarterback room better be solidified, man. Well, it feels like almost a win now move when you really think about it, right? If you have Trey Lance on your roster and you even have one quarterback to play every week, getting Damian Pierce could be the guy who helps put you over the top. And then you also have Brees Hall for next year. I mean, I don't hate the move. You know, Brees Hall, Trey Lance. You know, they could be a little bit closer than we're willing to admit. I understand the replacement value, and I'm with you there. But getting those two running backs, man, they are very young. Yeah. And I know that running back is a fickle position. But you talk about just fantasy point potential on that side. It's probably a lot higher, but I get the replacement value and why you may want that quarterback overall. I'm still taking – I said all that. I, I'm going to I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that his QB room is fine. I'm taking Josh Palmer, Brees Hall, and Damian Pierce. But 16-team league – Giving up quarterbacks is a little scary, man. Just a tad bit scary. All right, Jay, where do you want to go? Do you, ooh, DeAndre, let's talk about it. So this is a 12-team, half PPR, super flex, contending team looking to shore up quarterback. First should be late. Second looks to be mid. We've got Miles Sanders, Tua, and a 23-second being acquired for DeAndre Swift, Rashad Bateman, and a 23-first. Jay, talk to me. This is really hard for me. This is this feels like a Jay Rich special, right? Getting a couple of players that I don't really like off my roster. But the problem for me, Ray, isn't so much that I don't really like DeAndre Swift and I don't really like Rashad Bateman, but I don't know if they got enough in Tua and Miles Sanders in a second. Like I get wanting to shore up your quarterback, and Tua's been phenomenal this year. But is is that really what you're getting for DeAndre Swift and Rashad Bateman right now? Is just Tua, Miles Sanders in a second? Just Tua? And you had to give he's, up. He's, he's I, damn near the top I love five Tua. quarterback in the league. I love Tua. Don't get me wrong. I love Tua, but it's just that's a that feels like a lot. You gave up, you know, a running back that everyone still loves for better or worse, right? Rashad Bateman injured, sure, but a lot of people like him too. And a first round pick. First and is you know, late. Miles Sanders you said the Miles first Sanders is, late. is fine. Right, Miles Sanders is fine. He's you know replacement level running back. He's a starter. He's probably an RB two. I think it feels a little light. I'd hope I'd get a little bit more. I I I would hope I wouldn't have to necessarily give up my first right. But again, that's just Tua's on the rise. Right, could, would you take the Tua side in this instance? Yes, yes, hundred percent. Twelve team half PPR. I don't give a shit about Rashad Bateman in a half PPR. So um, whatever, right. Sanders in a second for Rashad Bateman in half PPR. Now it comes down to is DeAndre Swift in a late 23 first enough to get two in Superflex? And the answer for me is unequivocally yes. If all I had to give up was potentially Sean Tucker, Blake Corum, uh, uh, I don't even know, Josh Downs and DeAndre Swift to get Tua, I'm doing that 10 out of 10 times, man. There's, there's not... If that's if that's what it takes, a late first and DeAndre Swift to get Tua in super flex, I'm doing that 11 out of 10 times, every single time. You can have Bateman, you can have Swift, you can have that late first. Give me Tua in that offense, and then whatever Miles Sanders can be, whatever, it's a mid-second, I can go get another running back. I can go get Chase Brown with that mid-second. I can get Kendra Miller with that mid-second. If I told you it's Miles Sanders, Kendra Miller, Miles Sanders, Josh Downs, and Tua – for Swift, Sean Tucker, and Bateman, what do you think? It's it's close, right? I think okay, team direction does play a point here. I'm, okay. I'm 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 just it's it just feels like I'm paying a little bit too much, but you know it is what it is. And that's, and that's hopefully the difference in our top. dynasty styles. I don't care. I'm not trying to extract every stinking ounce of value out of a trade. You're giving me Tua in a super flex for Swift, 
a late first in Bateman, and I'm getting back a mid second in Sanders. Give me that side, easy, man. I know, easy. I know, but you got you got to look up to his playoff schedule, and then maybe you'll reconsider. That's I'm all gonna, I'm gonna say. If it's a if it's a win now move, that's all I'm gonna say. Next season, we'll see. I like Bateman, but I don't like him in that offense. All right, let's go. Barkley. Oh, you, this is beautiful. This right, this this is beautiful. There may be people listening who don't see this trade, uh, uh, but Saquon Barkley and Donovan Peoples Jones. And you're giving up DeAndre Swift and Garrett Wilson. Here's the thing, Ray. This is a bit big problem for me because I like Garrett Wilson, but man, Donovan Peoples Jones is looking pretty good. good and you know too. who doesn't look very good? Zach Wilson. You know who might play this week? Mike White. I think I'm taking Saquon Barkley here. DeAndre Swift, this Garrett is Wilson's dynasty. a great package. This is not redraft, Jay. Like I know. I know, I know, but Saquon Barkley's been phenomenal. You're gonna yeah. not, you're gonna not take Saquon Barkley. No, I'm. No, I want the Saquon and DPJ side. I want the. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm you want saying. Saquon and DPJ because DPJ has been been great, and yeah, Watson's been coming back. You get rid of Swift. Yeah, you got to give up Garrett Wilson, who's probably gonna be what a top twenty receiver in the NFL once he gets a quarterback. I think it's fine, man. I understand the concerns with Saquon Barkley's age, but even today, what? I'm taking Saquon over Swift. Twenty six. What are people doing? I'm good. I don't. I don't think there's an issue with his age at all. Get out of here with that, man. I, I want Barkley and DPJ. Give me Saquon and DPJ. If you want to pay for age, aka DeAndre Swift and Garrett Wilson, that's fine. Um, I want Saquon Barkley and DPJ, and I'm pretty sure the dynasty youthful zealots are all going to say Swift and Garrett Wilson by a landslide. For sure. Give me Saquon Barkley and DPJ. I want a bam tier running back, an elite running back in Saquon Barkley, an ascending wide receiver who's going to get a cup quarterback upgrade in DPJ. Give me Barkley and DPJ over DeAndre Swift and Garrett Wilson. I'm, I'm, that's the side I want. No doubt about it, man. Loving um, that. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, man. Whew. Jay, I mean, DPJ, I know we just praised DPJ, but here's one for you. DPJ and Kadarius Toney or Cooper Cup. I mean, what are we doing, Jay? It's 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 got to be Cooper Cup. Come on, man. <laughs> Cooper Cup with two high ankle sprains, and I'm still taking DPJ, or still taking Cooper Cup over Kadarius Tony and DPJ. I I love those receivers, but it's got to be Cooper Cup. He's still elite. He's hey, still elite. Stop. Is it a, stop is it a win now? Blacking movie, out. Kyler Rob, Kyle Rob, for stop. You do this shit every trade show, man. We we haven't done this in a year, and you still stop blacking out their names. I want to know who got what. I want to know who sent away Cooper Cup for DPJ and Kadarius Tony today. You need to know at, that. An hour ago. Why? In what man? Yo. Jay Rich, that's a that's gonna that's a hard pass for me. That's give me Cooper Cup. Give me yep. Cooper Cup. All right. For sure. Damn, DPJ everywhere. Oh, this is a big boy trade. I like this, man. All right. We've got. All right, where do I even start here? We got Donovan Peoples-Jones, Javonta Williams, Brees Hall, Drake London, a 23 third, a 25 first for A.J. Dillon, Travis Etienne. This is a terrible trade. A.J. Dillon, Travis Etienne, Jamar Chase, Michael Carter, Sky Moore, and a 23 fourth. I know what side I want, and it's, it's, it's pretty easy for me. Where are you at? I know what you're about to say. You're about to take the top deal, aren't you? I think I want the top, man. Like I, I oh, think I want. Oh man, it's just, Jay I know, Rich. Ray. I, I, I get it. I get it, Ray. I get it. It's that's a lot of pieces, though, man. That's a you. You want to talk about? Okay, when Brees Hall is healthy next season, where is he at relative to Travis Etienne? And then you're getting all of that for Jamar Chase because AJ Dillon ain't worth anything. Sky Moore, okay, maybe he becomes something. I'm not going to factor him too much. But do you really want to give up all that just to get Jamar Chase all and that potential That's my and only hope. problem. All that no, potential no, no, and hope no, 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 come on, come on, what come I on. know. Javante Williams, we've seen it. Melvin Gordon, hallelujah. He got released today, right? Mm -hmm. Brees Hall, going to be a stud. Drake London, who we both already love. Going to no get a quarterback. quarterback. He's dead Hopefully. until they get a quarterback. DPJ, we've been talking about him all show. He's he still looks trade. good. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's tough. I think it's, I think it's close. I think it's close. I am, I'm breaking the screen on my phone to accept the Jamar Chase, Travis Etienne, Sky Moore, AJ Dillon side. Breaking my phone. I, I want that side. I don't want. Listen, 
I'm still, I still love Brees and Javante. Like everyone's like, oh, I'm out, I'm out. I still like both of those guys. I still want both of those guys. But you know who I want more is Jamar freaking Chase on my roster. Let me, let me just see what the settings are here. Nope, no, no kind of, no kind of context. It's just how I love it. Uh, yeah, Chase for me. If we're if we're trying to like compare what it would cost to get Chase, it's probably Drake London, Javonta Williams, DPJ, and something else to get Chase. If if that is Maybe, even yeah. enough, and I don't think it is. Maybe, yeah. I, 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 don't I think, think it's probably like either. Drake, Brees, and Javonta for Ch for Chase. Like where they're at, two torn ACL guys, Drake London, no quarterback. All of that maybe gets you Jamar Chase. So now you're saying ETN or DPJ in a 25 first, give me ETN. Then it's Sky Moore or a 23 third, give me Sky Moore. AJ Dillon or 40 and Fab. It's close, but I'll take AJ Dillon. And then you get a free 23 fourth on there. That's how I broke that down, Jay. That's for me pretty simple. I want that Chase side. But you go ahead. Let's see what the people say. Give me a. Uh, Give me the chase yeah, side it's, of this deal. It's it's interesting because you'd think that the top side is a rebuilder, right? Someone who's trying to retool a little bit. They can afford to wait for those running backs to come back. And then at that point, it'll be interesting how that one would shake out over the long term. But I get definitely wanting chasing ETN for the rest of the year. Absolutely. And next year and the year after that. Give me Chase and ETN. All right. Um, where else are we gonna go? Got a lot of trades here. Got a lot of trades. Ew, Samaj P Ryan. No thanks. Don't want to talk about that. Definitely not going to talk about a 24 third or Latavius Murray. That's a waste of everybody's time. Here goes uh, one QB, one point PPR. I'm a contender that lost Brees and Javante. We got Christian McCaffrey being acquired for Javante Williams in a 24 first. Contender, are you fine with this deal, CMC, for Javante in a first? Yeah, I want Christian McCaffrey. Same. Same. I, this Same. year, next year, the Same. year after that, as long as he's in San Francisco, he's going to be great, man. And I actually, Jay, I actually, I know people are bitching about him not getting a bunch of carries. I'm fine with him getting 10, 11 carries and just keep throwing it to him. Austin Eckler him. Austin Eckler him all day. I'm in on that. All right. Here we do. All right. Same league. Okay. Hold on. Who? I don't know what league this is, but let's just talk about this one. This is an interesting one. Daniel Jones, Superflex. Or the 201 and 23? Um, hmm. This is easy. Come on, man. You're going to take Daniel Jones? Easy. 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 Man, you you, you and Daniel Jones this season, no greater me, match. Listen, Jay, it's not about get whatever warped sense of Daniel Jones has been in your head for the past three years. He's got a stable, the, the coaching staff and the culture in New York is so far removed from what it was. It's the same shit with Tua, right? We were, oh, man, I don't know about Tua. Two years of instability. You finally get someone that believes in him, puts talent around him, and now Tua is a top quarterback in the NFL. Daniel Jones has the worst receiving core in the NFL, and it's not even close. And somehow, the Giants are 7-3. and three. Somehow. He's not playing bad football. He was a top five quarterback on the week last week. And you're telling me all it takes is me to give up Devon A. Chain to get a quarterback in Superflex that's got uh, a Saquon Barkley. They've got an ascending offensive line. I want Daniel Jones easy, man. This ain't Jason Garrett's Daniel Jones. You would really rather have Devon, the 201 over Daniel Jones in Superflex? Really, man? It's, 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 the, it's not that I'd rather have him, but it's just... It's all these quarterbacks that are in the middle. The Kenny Pickett's, the Mac Jones is like the guys that are Jones difference is above maker all those quarterbacks. Guys. He's above all of them. He might be. He, he might is. be. Are you you can say that, but it's just I don't know if I want any of those quarterbacks. We talk about it all the time. You want one of the top but seven what if quarterbacks. You don't have, and after but that, we you really don't care. But you can't You're always not, have that, right? Are so you gonna win is, with Daniel Jones? You is that what? the right advice? Are you are, is the advice to trade your second round pick for Daniel Jones? Absolutely. Or is it to maybe not yes. make that move and go after someone higher up the Absolutely. Higher up higher? I, if you okay. if all you have to do is give up a second round, because you're not counting on Daniel Jones to be QB one. You're talking about a guy that has QB1 upside every week, right? Because of his rushing ability, because he doesn't turn the ball over a ton, because the offense is catered to him. You're not asking or, or expecting him to carry your team. You're pairing Daniel Jones, hopefully, with a Patrick Mahomes, with a Jalen Hurts, and maybe he's your third quarterback, Jay, and you're telling me your potential QB2 or QB3 for a 201? 
this if it ain't Bijan, I don't really give a shit, right? Like to be real, yeah. like if it, I, it that's a chain, that's Charbonnet, that's Cedric Tillman, Jalen Hyatt, or Daniel Jones. Which one would you rather have in your QB two or QB three spot? For me, it's it's an easy Daniel Jones. Yeah, I, I understand your reasoning. I just don't just, know if I would okay. ever pull the trigger on that. I'm just I'm just okay. not there, man. I'm just not. I'm just not. All right, here goes. Uh, let's talk about this one. Lamar Jackson and Tyler Huntley. So you get the Baltimore QB stack or one, two, three first rounders, one in 23, one in 24, one in 25, 23 second or 25 second and junk. What side would you rather have? Give me Lamar Easy. Jackson. Easy. Not even close. Easy. This is a great, this is a great way to sell someone on the hope of the first round picks. Yeah, sure. Take my 2025 first. Just Ooh. give me Lamar Jackson in return. Like, it's not a big deal. Sam Ooh. Darnold, though, is supposed to start this week. Did you see that? I didn't see that, but that's a brutal freaking trade. Oof. What about this one? Judy or J.K. Dobbins? Oh. I want Judy, but is that the wrong process, Ray? Would you would you, would you you be feel bad if I wanted Judy no, over Dobbins? I want Judy over Dobbins. Running back, going in year four, hasn't done shit since his rookie year. Knees all fucked up. Give me Jerry Judy. Pretty pretty yeah. simple for me. I'm, I'm good on J.K. Dobbins. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. Hope, hope he turns it around. If I can send away J.K. Dobbins and get Jerry Judy, give me Jerry Judy 10 out of 10 times. I'm good. Take my Dobbins. Take my Dobbins and his one knee. I'm good. Judy's got bad ankles, but, I mean, Steph Curry figured it we'll out We'll make eventually. it work. Steph, oh, wow. Jay Rich, read it off. Oh, buddy. Read it off. Deshaun Watson and a 2023 first-round pick. For Will Disley and Justin F. Fields, which I'm assuming this is before his uh, his shoulder injury, because now it's uh, looking a little bit better. I think this is, I don't know when it is, but it got submitted like 30 minutes ago. So talk to me. Watson and a first well over Justin Fields. And it's not even Same. that close. It's not like I, I get maybe you don't want to wait. You got to wait the week or whatever of waiting for Watson to come back and maybe he'll struggle in his first few weeks. But Watson, from the moment he stepped on the NFL field, has been a BAM tier quarterback. It's been one of the best quarterbacks in football. Amari Cooper playing like a top 12 wide receiver right now in fantasy. Give me Deshaun Watson in the first all freaking this gives day. you so many ideas of what you're going to sell fields for right now you're like oh, oh man yeah, it does. if people if people are getting watson in a first there's no way i'm trading my fields for uh you know Dak <laughs> for justin herbert second you know not doing it yeah uh yeah. give me watson in the first uh field this is a great it's a great example great of cashing out high. great example all right great we got move. one more we got one more this was proposed did this even happen oh okay here we go Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to report a trade. All right, let's talk about it. Wow. This is a good way to end it. This is a good way to end in, in this edition of the trade show. So, Rally Cats, we've got this. We've got Justin Fields, Michael Pittman Jr., Nico Collins, a 23 first and a 23 second being acquired for Patrick Mahomes and Josh Palmer. Is that enough, Ray? Is that enough? Justin Fields, a 23 first and a 23 second to go after Patrick Mahomes because I promise you, I promise you, there is not a single Patrick Mahomes owner that would ever do that trade, ever. But if you can, you know, massage it a little bit, oh, I'll give you Michael Pittman. Oh, I'll give you Nico Collins, going to be the wide receiver one in Houston. Give me Patrick Mahomes. I'm sorry. I, j I understand the package is great. I like Michael Pittman, but I'll take Patrick Mahomes, and I wouldn't even want Josh Palmer. I would still send the rest of it back if I could get Patrick Mahomes. It's enticing. You look at it, you're like, man, you're getting Fields, Pittman, and – but it's re – like, really? This trade is really Fields, Pittman, and a 23 first, and that's not enough for Mahomes. Like, Palmer's not me, good. Nope. I'm, not, I'm not discrediting Palmer. I'm not – completely shitting on Nico. If it's a best ball, that's cool. You never feel good putting Nico Collins in your lineup. And the 23 second, cool. But I'm with you, man. If that's all I had to do to give up, if that's all I had to give up in order to get Patrick Mahomes, Jay, give me the Mahomes side every single time. I want the Bam tier quarterback. I get it, man. This is buying just... 
this is buying hot. This is buying a stock when it's at $400 like GameStop. Like, I'm not, I can't do it, Jay. Give me Patrick Mahomes and Josh Palmer. I'm with you. All right, let's go one more. I just want one more. All right. One more Fields trade. Here we go. This is the last one that was submitted. The last one that was submitted. This will end the trade show. So we've got Dalton Schultz, Kyler Murray, and the 208 being acquired for Mark Andrews and Justin. All right, this is an easy one. What's up? Mark Andrews and Justin Fields. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, easy. I think, Ray, that Justin Fields is a lot closer to Kyler Murray in value than people are willing to admit. As much as I love Kyler Murray, I think it's getting pretty close. Pretty Bro, close. I'd, He's not I'd in that take, top tier. I would probably take Fields ahead of Kyler Murray right now if we're being honest. Like, you see what I'm saying? So I, I'm getting, I was telling the patrons that a few, like a couple weeks ago, I was like, man, I think it's getting close. And then he has another good game. And then it's like, oh, it's getting a little closer. And there's another. I think I would do it too. Yeah, I think I would. Finkel is Eisenhorn, I, Einhorn, a uh, little Ace Ventura pet detective. Uh, smash that trade. And now you're talking Andrews for Schultz in a second. Easy win for uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective. All right, there it is. Episode one, Dynasty Trade Show. Wake up. Ray G, Jay Rich, back in the building. We'll do this every single week. Uh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know what you thought of those trades. And if you want your trade featured in the show, patreon.com forward slash all gas. Enjoy the games. Enjoy your holiday break. We'll see y'all on Wake Up on Monday. We out of staying Peace.